morning I've packed up camp and I've been walking about half an hour now. It's just gone half past six. Had an alright night's sleep. I was undisturbed. There's a little bit of breeze, a little bit of rain, but yeah, not, not too bad actually. I was pretty tired, so I was, think I finally got into the tent about half past eight. And yeah, sort of tried to go straight to sleep. Um, so I woke up early. It was dark when I first woke up, so I haven't filmed uh, where I was camped or the walk so far, but I've just got up my first couple of climbs and I've got a view in front of me now of well first of all Morwinstow which is where I was aiming to get to yesterday um, I was so close to getting here it's just that I got to the sort of foot of another huge hill that I've, I've just climbed up now and I couldn't face it I was I was tired energy levels were really low and I didn't want to sort of make any mistakes and hurt myself so um, yeah unfortunately I didn't get to Morwinstow which it was a shame because I would have stocked up on some supplies there um, at the rectory farm tea rooms. Well, I don't think they're going to be open by the time I get there. Um, I'll just spin you around now. So you've got you've got more in over on the left and then up on the horizon in front of us uh, is the satellite station which is GCHQ. Right, I'm heading into uh, Morwenstow now. I'm, the tea rooms aren't going to be open, it's too early, but I'm going to go to the church and see if there's an outside tap so I can uh, fill up my water bottles. Bit of a gamble, because if they haven't, then I've added, I don't know, another mile onto my day, but it's worth the risk. Is it open? Yes. Yes. Perfect. That was brilliant. Managed to fill my bottles up both right up, drank loads of water so I'm fully hydrated and uh, had a bit of a sink wash and a change of clothes. Took care of my feet a little bit. They're actually doing all right. But um, yeah, just checked them over clean pair of socks and uh, yeah heading back out to the coast path a little bit of rain in the air but it's not enough yet to warrant me putting the coat on it's still plenty warm enough um i just met a lady as well who was out running and she did say there's quite a few cafes on this stretch and a couple of um car parks with public toilets in so maybe a little bit more or less remote today yesterday I was glad when it was over but I just wish it would finished in a slightly more civilized area or populated area sorry should I say with some amenities but I was all right I had to walk, <laughs> I had to set my tent up I had to walk back at the top of one of the hills because I, I was camping like down in one of the coombs but I had to walk back up to the top of one of them to get a signal to let my family know I was all right so uh, yeah, didn't unfortunately didn't have any signal where my tent was, but it all's fine. I'm feeling quite positive again this morning now, and uh, yeah, let's see see where we get to today. Now Hawker's Hut is uh, the National Trust's smallest property. Um, it's a hut that was built by the uh, local vicar from the church where I've just been to. Made it out of scrap wood, driftwood, and he built this hut. <clears throat> and he used to come here, I believe, and reflect and uh, write poetry. Pretty cool. Then he'd sit there and have that for his view. Let's leave the past behind Walk with me 
there's something else we need to find Say you'll go, don't make me wait There's no need to hesitate Let's make footprints in sand Let's make miracles Just leaving Sandy Mouth behind me. Very nice, nice place to have lunch and some breakfast. It's 10 past 12. Uh, next stop is Bude. Bit of rain again now, so put the coat on. Uh, but yeah, I don't think it's gonna be very heavy, just a little shower. Right, I'll bring you back uh, when we got a bit closer to Bude. Let's leave the past. With me down the road, there's sunshine and light. I felt really bad earlier when we were at um, Sandy Mouth. I saw a sheep had gone over the edge of the cliff. It was still alive. It was probably about 40 foot down. There's no way for it to get back up. I'm not sure if it would broken its leg as well, but. It was still alive. Um, I didn't know who to tell, there was no one around, but luckily when I got to Sandy Mouth and I saw the cafe there, I, I inquired in there and uh, yeah, they knew who the farmer was, so they were gonna contact them. But yeah, I doubt, I doubt there's much they can do for the poor thing. Still, I feel a bit better having, having told someone about it. Since we uh, climbed out of duck pool, and up onto the top of the cliff here. Um, it's been fairly easy going actually. We had a bit of a dip down into Sandy Mouth um, and then back up again up to where I am now. But yeah, much easier walking than this morning. Um, not too far now from Bude. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, go through Bude and push on to uh, Woodmouth. This is called Storm Tower or uh, Compass Point. You got all the uh, compass directions on all the faces. Um, it dates from 1830.
right just come out of view now and we've got three miles to Woodmouth so yeah keep going and hopefully those three miles go by fairly quickly because I could do with an early finish <laughs> Right, so we are at the campsite and we're all set up. Got a good view of the sea. And uh, this is what I wasn't able to show you last night because it was dark when I pitched up, but I'm in the Lanshan 2 Pro, um, which is new since I was walking the coast, coast path last time. And I've got my Leviathan uh, down sleeping bag. That was very warm last night, actually. First time I used it, that was good. Um, that coupled up with... Um, uh, firm arrest neo air x firm i was nice and toasty last night so i'm not worried about that at all it was nice and comfortable as well right sorry about the uh washing and drying beside my head um but yeah i just wanted to say i was really pleased that i was able to get in good time today i'm at um Woodmouth. got here about half past three and i've had a shower and set up and paid and I'm just chilling out for a couple of hours and then I might head over to the pub and get some food. Um, yeah, tomorrow, uh, sort of heading towards Crackington Haven, Boss Castle, and then, well, it's Tintagel after that, but we'll see how we're feeling when we get to Boss Castle. Um, but yeah, unless anything else exciting happens, I will see you tomorrow. Cheers, guys.